Hi, I'm Vicki Liviakis and welcome to our brand new show, For Your Child's Health. For the next half hour, we'll be looking at ways to keep your child healthy with the experts from Children's Hospital Oakland. This week, we're talking about cutting edge medicine and the latest in modern medical breakthroughs. Plus, we'll be taking a look at how we might be unwittingly depriving our kids of sunshine and what that's doing to their growing bones. Joining us this morning is Dr. Bert Lubin. He is Senior Vice President of Research for Children's Hospital Oakland. Later, we'll be joined by Dr. Julie Saba, a research scientist who is trying to find a cure for cancer. Now, before we start a word here you'll also want to consult your own physician as well for any medical advice you might be receiving okay let's just jump right into it welcome to the show dr. Lubin well thank you very much for having me here you are the passion you are the driving force for getting the word out about children's hospital we've heard a lot about children's um, but there's a research branch as well tell me a bit about that well I'm very glad you asked me about that because many people most people know that there's this wonderful children's hospital in Oakland that's been there since 1912 when it was founded by two nurses and called the baby hospital Bertha Wright was one of those nurses and ever in the last 50 years we've had a research program which has dramatically expanded and we're looking at some some old pictures there so that is the original hospital that is the original hospital and there, there that's are the, one of the nurses I suspect okay and uh, these are these are just fascinating the, the history is phenomenal you have grown obviously um, in terms of the research branch now you started with a couple of scientists and now tell me about that so I've been uh, at Children's Hospital for 30 years and when I came there were very few medical staff people full-time and now there's an enormous amount covering every subspecialty and it's a wonderful place for the care of children and I just feel fortunate to be able to spend my life devoted to the care of children locally and trying to do things that help children globally. Now, the name Children's Hospital, I mean, it says it all pretty much. I mean, you, you only treat children. We are an independent hospital that only treats children. Um, we are a hospital that's not part of any of the universities, uh, so we have to really spend a lot of effort raising funds to support the mission of our medical center. Now, I'll let you toot your horn just for a moment here. Uh, Children's Hospital Oakland is ranked as one of the top children's hospitals in the country, is it not? It definitely is. Um, the research program this past year ranked number five in the nation behind Boston, Philadelphia, Cincinnati, and St. Jude's. That's pretty remarkable for an independent research institute. And obviously you have passion behind what you do, and it's the work that you do is driven by what? By, by the children, I, I, I would imagine. Well, the work that I do is driven by my hope and desire that we will make a difference in the lives of children throughout the world. I want to give people a chance to actually meet some of the children that are at the hospital. I had uh, a rare opportunity to meet a brave little girl. I would like everyone to meet. Her name is Amanda. Walking the halls of Children's Hospital with her mom, six-year-old Amanda de la Cueva is tethered to a machine, a lifeline that for now follows her everywhere. That's like a line that's stuck in your heart. And like when they're going to get it out like when you feel better and then go home. Home is Manteca, California, but Amanda and her mother, Maria, arrived here after the little girl suffered a massive seizure at school. Because I was sick during that school, I started with um, vomiting and all stuff, mm -hmm. and they took me here at the Children's Hospital. She was asking so many times why that happened to me. And then and the best way I tried to explain it, all about cancer is kind of hard. It's really hard. What do you tell your, your, your friends at school? I had to go to the hospital real quick because I started getting cancer with the tumor. Right here in the back. In the back of your head? But you couldn't see it, right? Where was it hiding? The brain tumor is removed. Amanda is on the mend, and she has these beads to prove it. These are the special beads, hair loss beads, and 
to my kids. Amanda says she's made friends with other kids and nurses at Children's Hospital, but really lights up when she talks about the doctor who helped her. He's kind of great. Kind of great? How good? Because he's the best doctor I had. What do you want to be when you grow up? Mm, helping animals, the yeah. little cubs. The little cubs, you want to help them? Are you, the puppies. And the puppies. Today, Amanda is feeling pretty good. Then again, Maria believes even on her worst days, her daughter will always be okay. She says yes, even if she's not. Yeah. So that make you feel like you have to be strong. Does she give you strength too? Yeah, she does. Okay, <laughs> you know, that says it all. That's beautiful. Uh, Amanda is obviously wise beyond her years, six and a half. Um, how do you tell a child about cancer? And the work that you're doing, I guess that is what drives you. Well, that we, we basically do work on almost every childhood disease. And our hope is to understand how the disease develops and to do something to prevent it. Prevention is really pediatrics. And when we come back, we're going to talk about how to prevent some of those childhood diseases. Coming up on Your Child's Health, we'll be speaking more about the cutting-edge research being done there. And a little later, we'll find out about a disease that we thought went away, but it's making a comeback, affecting kids in a big way. Stay with us.